The Northrop F-5 may not be the best US supersonic light fighter, but it is undoubtedly the most practical. Two generations of this family, the F-5AB Freedom Fighter and F-5EF Tiger II, have put their mark in military aviation history. Today we're investigating the Northrop F-5, the simple and affordable but highly effective fighter of the free world. The F-5 is one of the true marvels of military aviation. However, its greatness comes from simplicity rather than technological superiority. This small bird of prey, which met the sky in 1959, has been on duty since then. The story of the F-5 goes back to 1953, when the Supreme Command of the Alliance issued the NATO Basic Military Requirement 1, or shortly MBMR-1 document, and invited aviation companies to develop a lightweight strike fighter. In response to this program, Northrop began to work on the N-156. Even though the G-91 won the NBMR-1 contest, Northrop continued its work and developed the N-156NN for the US Navy's lightweight jet fighter requirement for its escort carriers. This aircraft had an entirely different design compared to the F-5. When the Navy decided to withdraw the escort carriers, the work on the N-156NN was also terminated. However, the company did not give up the N-156 idea and developed its T variant for the advanced jet training roles and the F variant as a lightweight fighter. The US Air Force almost immediately selected the N-156T, which is called T-38 Talon later, as a replacement for the T-33. Northrop continued to develop the N-156F as a private venture. In those years, the rapid advancement in aviation technologies and rivalry between the Eastern and Western blocs made the combat jets more sophisticated and expensive. It also caused new fighters to become obsolete in a decade. Many pro-US countries did not have enough money to keep up with this race. The N-156F was perfect for a prospective low-cost fighter that could be supplied under the military assistance program for distribution to less developed allied nations. Washington realized the potential of the aircraft and gave an order for three prototypes in 1958. The first N-156F made its maiden flight on July 30, 1959. At this point, there was a strange situation in the program. The US Army could still be operating jet fighters. So, it evaluated the N-156F alongside the Fiat G-91 and Douglas A-4D-21 Skyhawk. On the other hand, the US Air Force was supporting a simplified version of the F-104. After the trials, the Army favored the N-156F due to its ruggedness, in the field maintainability and reliability. However, due to lobbying efforts of the Air Force, the Army had to give up all fixed-wing combat aircraft. So, it seemed that the F-104 gained the advantage, but it did not. On April 25, 1962, the Kennedy administration selected the N-156F for the military assistance program. On August 9, the aircraft was given the official name of the F-5 Freedom Fighter. On October 22, 1963, Washington gave the first order for 71 F-5s. The 4,441st Combat Crew Training Squadron of the US Air Force received the first operational Freedom Fighters. Iran became the first foreign customer of the F-5. Canada, the Netherlands and Spain also produced the aircraft under license. The semi-monocoque fuselage is made of light alloys with steel, magnesium and titanium used in certain areas. The wings have a multi-spar light alloy structure with heavy plate machined skin. The F-5 was designed to be flown and landed safely using only one aileron. The tail has a cantilever all-metal structure. There are two hydraulically actuated air brakes on the underside of the fuselage forward of wheel wells. Since it has no radar, the aircraft is mostly suitable for ground attack missions. But as a highly agile aircraft, the F-5 is also a good dogfight fighter with its 20mm autocannons and the sidewinder firing capability. Even though the T-38 had a highly similar design, the twin-seat F-5 was also developed. The B variant of the Freedom Fighter had high combat capability, more powerful engines and leading-edge root extensions, which the Talon did not have. Still, the F-5B was not fitted with 20mm autocannons. The rear seat of the B variant is 25cm higher to improve forward visibility. 
Even though the B version is twin seated, it is 0.26 meters shorter than the F5A. The Canadian CF-5 variant of the Freedom Fighter, whose Royal Canadian Air Force designation was CF-116, has a more powerful engine and in-flight refueling probe. In the 1990s, Turkish F-5s were modernized with an advanced fire control system, digital data networks, a glass cockpit, a heads-up display, and ballistic computers. They served in F-16 conversion training and combat training roles until 2013. In 1965, the US Air Force began to operate the F-5C Scorchy Tiger and F-5A variant with an in-flight refueling probe, armor plates and improved instruments. They were used for combat evaluation missions and combat operations in the early stages of the Vietnam War. Later, these aircraft were transferred to the Philippines and South Vietnam. The Dutch NF-5s had a Doppler navigation system, 1,040-liter fuel tanks and maneuvering flaps. The RF-5A was the reconnaissance version of the F-5A with four nose-mounted KS-92 cameras. Its Norwegian, Spanish and Thai designations were the RF-5AG, AR-9 and BTKH-18 respectively. Botswana, Spain and Turkey are still operating the first-generation F-5s. Brazil, Canada, Ethiopia, Greece, Iran, Jordan, Libya, Malaysia, Morocco, the Netherlands, North Yemen, Norway, the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, South Vietnam, Taiwan, Thailand, the USA, Venezuela and Vietnam were the former users. The F-5A has a length of 14.38 meters, a wingspan of 7.7 .7 meters and a height of 4.01 meters. Its wing area is 15.79 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight is 3,667 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight is 9,379 kilograms. Two 18.14 kilonewton General Electric J85 GE13 afterburning turbojet engines provide a top speed of Mach 1.4. The aircraft's range is 2,594 kilometers. Its combat radius is 315 kilometers. The FAA's service ceiling is 15,390 meters, in other words, 50,500 feet. The aircraft has two 20mm M39A2 auto cannons and seven hardpoints. It can carry nearly two tons of ordnance. The F-5A can be equipped with the AIM-7 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, bombs and rockets. In the late 1960s, the Northrop engineers began to work on the improved variant of the F-5 based on user feedback. Many countries demanded the aircraft to be equipped with a radar. Besides, General Electric had already developed a more reliable variant of the J85 GE13 turbojet with better fuel efficiency and a higher power weight ratio. Northrop modified the F5B called YF5B21 to apply the new features. For the installation of the new engine, the engine bays were expanded while the air intakes were enlarged for better airflow. Also, the aircraft was fitted with extended leading-edge root extensions and spars to increase lift and maneuverability. The YF-5B21 made its maiden flight on March 28, 1969. On February 26, 1970, the USA opened a new competition for a new lightweight jet fighter that could be supplied under the military assistance program for distribution to less developed allied nations. This time, the F-5 competed with the F-4E Phantom II, F-104 Starfighter and F-8 Crusader. Six months later, the new F-5 variant won the tender and took the name F-5E Tiger II in January 1971. The production variant of the E version made its maiden flight on August 11, 1972. It also had the ANAPQ-153 radar with integrated gyro gun sight. The compact radar was developed for the F-5's narrow nose section so that the aircraft could keep its autocannons. South Korea, Switzerland and Taiwan also produced the Tiger II under license. The first F-5Es were delivered to the 425th Fighter Squadron of the US Air Force. Like the A variant, the first foreign customer of the aircraft was Iran. The Tiger II has better maneuverability and air-to-air -air combat capability than its predecessor. It is a two-position nose wheel gear also used on the CF-5 which increases the wing angle of attack on the ground. Alongside this feature, the increased engine power improves the F-5's takeoff performance by 30% compared to the A variant. The twin-seat variant of the Tiger II is the F-5F. 
It is 1.02 meters longer than the E version. The RF5E Tigray is the reconnaissance version of the F5E with an R843A ARM58 localizer receiver and a nose containing four KS121A cameras. Its modernized version can be fitted with the K587D1, K95B, K56E Day, the RS710E infrared, or K56E and K93B6 panoramic cameras. The Brazilian aircraft have multifunctional displays, helmet mounted displays, the Grifo F radar, INS GPS navigation system, in flight air refueling probe, and the Python 4 and Derby air to air missile launching capability. They were renamed as F 5EM and F 5FM. Some aircraft have the Lightning 3 targeting and Sky Shield electronic warfare pods. Brazil also implemented the Link BR2 proprietary data link system of the Brazilian Armed Forces on the F5EM. The modernized Chilean F5EFs have the ELM2032 multi-mode pulse Doppler radar, multifunctional display, head-up displays, in-flare air refueling probe, and the Python 4 and Derby air-to-air -air missile launching capability. The F5s of the Royal Moroccan Air Force are fitted with the Grifo FX Plus radar, ELT-555 Active Electronic Countermeasure Spot, Hands-on Throttle and Stick Controls, Head-Up Displays and Multifunctional Displays. In 1991, Singapore equipped its F5Es with the Grifo F Radar, Multifunctional Display and Hands-on Throttle and Stick Controls and gained them AIM-120 AMRAM and Python 4 Air-to-Air -air Missile Launching Capability. Later, these aircraft, renamed as F5S, were retired. The latest production models of Taiwan-made F5s have extended leading-edge root extensions and the APG-159V radar. Bahrain, Brazil, Chile, Honduras, Iran, Kenya, Mexico, Morocco, South Korea, Switzerland, Taiwan, Thailand, Tunisia and Yemen are still operating the F5EFs. Austria, Ethiopia, Indonesia, Jordan, Malaysia, North Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, South Vietnam, Sudan, the USA and Vietnam are the Tiger II's former users. The F5B has a length of 14.73 meters, a wingspan of 8.13 meters and a height of 4.08 meters. Its wing area is 17.3 square meters. The aircraft's empty weight is 4,275 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight is 11,561 kilograms. Two 22 kN General Electric J85 GE21 afterburning turbojet engines provide a top speed of Mach 1.63. The aircraft's range is 3,175 km. Its combat radius is 305 km. The F5E's service ceiling is 15,850 meters, in other words, 52,000 feet. The aircraft has two 20mm M39A2 autocannons and seven hardpoints. It can carry nearly 3.2 tons of ordnance. The F5E can be equipped with the AIM-7 Sidewinder, AIM-120 MRAM, Derby, Python 4 air-to-air, -air, AGM-65 Maverick air-to-surface missiles, bombs and rockets. The F5 also has some other variants. For example, you may want to check out our Azarakesh, Sagi and Kovsar video for detailed information about its Iranian reverse-engineered versions. The F-20 Tiger Shark, aka the F-5G, is the commercially unsuccessful single-engine variant. The YF-17 was developed based on the F-5 to compete with the YF-16. Even though it lost the competition, this aircraft led to the creation of the F-A-18 Hornet. NASA converted a single F-5E, called the Shape Sonic Boom Demonstration, to research reducing noise from supersonic flight by shaping the shock waves produced by the aircraft. Also, the MiG-28 of the movie Top Gun was the F-5. The combat career of the F-5 was intense, but to keep our video short and sweet, we will mention only an interesting one. During the 1974 invasion of Cyprus, which was called the Cyprus Peace Operation by the Turkish side, NATO experienced the most crucial inner crisis. Two members of the pack were on the brink of a war. Some sources claim that the Greek F-5s shot down one or two Turkish F-102s near the Dardanelles, but some other sources claim that the Turkish F-102s shot down one or two Greek F-5s. Officially, neither Greece nor Turkey have acknowledged either the losses or kills. Also, the independent sources have not presented satisfactory evidence for these claims. 
So, it is still a mystery whether the F5 was an actor in this inner NATO conflict. We define these days as a new Cold War and we think NATO desperately needs the successor of the F5. The USA needs an affordable and easy to produce combat jet to support its allies near the conflict zones. The South Korean F-A-50 and the Swedish Jets 39 Gripen are technically the best options. But these countries do not have the economic power and production capability of the USA. So, the throne of the F-5 is still empty. The Second Cold War has already risen and the world needs a new freedom fighter to supplement the highly sophisticated and expensive F-35, Eurofighter Typhoon and Rafale. Even this fact is enough to make the F-5 a legend. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.